Right, I need to be a bit quiet because I know uh, it's quite late, don't want to take the piss. Um, moved into our house again after we got flooded. So, uh, new workshop, it's a little bit smaller than the last one. Um, so, if I show you. There we are. I do have access to my oscilloscope now, which is nice. Um, because I was here in the house when we moved out. Uh, and yeah, this is what I've been working on. Um, it, it, my step sequenced um, synth. And so, there's a couple of things I've done. Um, one of them being just stopped it from working. There we go, just knocked the power lead out. Um, so, uh, before, I had it working in a bit of a backwards way in that it was um, eight kind of distinct oscillators each one in, had its pitch individually controlled and then they were just kind of gated by the step sequencer so that the oscillators would turn on and off in sequence um, that's because I didn't know how to voltage control an oscillator's pitch um, and I've messed around for ages trying to figure that out um, and I've ended up going back to one of the things I very first read up on, which is essentially um, making a ghetto voltage controlled resistor out of a, um, a an LED and a, um, oh, what do you call them, a light sensitive resistor, is it a photoresistor or something like that? The kind of light, you know, light sensitive resistors. Um, so I kind of, I've got one, got one here, basically one in one end, one in the other, and a bit of heat shrink on it. Um, and that I've got one kind of, kind of there. You can probably see the back of it glowing. Um, and so what that means is I've been able to go down to just a single oscillator. Um, and it kind of it, it's it opens up all kind of all kinds of um things like being able to control it with envelopes and LFOs once I've kind of started making that kind of thing. So see if I can see. So it, it's kind of you can see the back of that LED. If I make one of the steps a lot higher, I don't know if it'll pick it up on the camera. Um maybe if I do that to shield the back of it a bit. You can kind of see it's flashing brighter for one step. Um, so that's that bit. And Probably going to have some weird junk cut there because the camera's knackered and it just kind of turned off. So anyway, wait, wait, wait. Um, I was talking about the other thing that I did. Um, I was looking at uh, filter circuits. So I had built a resonant low-pass filler before, but I just copied a schematic I found online. I didn't really understand what any of it was doing, so I decided I need to... I need to understand how they work. Um, so over here I've got a filter circuit. Turns out a passive filter is literally just a capacitor and a resistor. Um, so I did that and I've then added another one of my kind of ghetto voltage controlled resistors uh, which is con being controlled by this part at the moment. You can probably see that LED at the back of there just in in there. Uh, kind of getting dimmer and brighter. So that's, um, that is controlling the filter, and then one of the good things about having my oscilloscope, um, the oscilloscope that was a car boot find and cost me 20 quid, um, and turned out to work perfectly, um, I kind of bought it just because it looked neat, and it turns out I've used it quite a lot um, for its intended purpose, who would have thunk it, so as I... Um, as I do the filter kind of up and down like that, you can see the waveform changes. Um, so it is being filtered. Um, oh, I, know, I just thought that that's moving because one of these steps was set to the max. So there we go. So, so that's. I mean, the pitch isn't hugely stable and there that's something I'm gonna work on but yeah the waveform there we go 
So some of the things that opens up, I mean, for a start, I now know it's relatively trivial to get a kind of triangle wave from a square wave. Um, so I'm going to experiment with that, that'll be nice and easy. Um, Yeah, it means so this this filter is um totally voltage controllable. I did mess around earlier with um with sending the output from the stem sequencer into the filter and it worked. It it kind of followed the same you could see on the oscilloscope that it followed the um you know the filter followed the voltage, you could see the waveform changing. Um and then and then the other thing I've done that I'm quite chuffed with, uh if I just set this Back to that. Um, so if I set set it so it's kind of doing some pretty major jumps on here, uh, like that. So uh, I'll, I'll change it to the steps, so it's moving slow. There we go. So we're kind of going. Big to small. Um, I figured out Portamento as well. So I've got this control over here. And if I turn that up, it should. So I had a nice kind of subtle, I don't know if you can see it. I'll, I'll turn a speaker on in a second because you can hear it more than you can see it. But it's kind of slowed down. It, it's less of a sudden jump between the two stages. That's something that's not right about that. Um, so that's with it on. That's with it off. So if I now plug, plug the output in. So I'm using my tiny little NAF DIY speaker. Um, one of the annoyances is that it it kills the um, oscilloscope. Right. So that's no problem. I don't know why that's being pitch is quite unstable. I'll figure that out later. Um, so if I turn the port mentor up. I don't know if you can hear that. So this is off again. I don't know. I can hear it. Um, I'm quite chuffed with that as well. Um, and I can... I'm going to be able to make that knowledge controlled as well, um, fairly trivially. It's just, there's literally just a pot that's kind of um, setting the pot mental amount at the moment, or pot mental. Um, so I'll be able to swap that out for a voltage controlled resistor. Uh, try to unplug that one handed because it's really annoying. Um, so yeah, uh, next steps are, um, I just, before I started recording this video, I'm going to try the, to add resonance to this filter and make it active as well. So this is a op-amp IC, um, because I want to kind of boost some frequencies, I'm going to need something to boost it with, so I'm going to use that, and I basically just need to experiment um, to figure that out, um, and I'm then, I'm gonna look at um, envelope generation even if it's a really simple kind of um, attack decay uh, or I don't know I'll figure that out but yeah so that's um, that's basically where I am where I am at the moment um, so sorry it's been quite a while since I posted anything um, I've essentially been putting my house back together and hopefully now I'll start posting more often again. Uh, so yeah, and I'll I'll do it during the day so I can actually talk at a normal volume. Cool.